Well, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm out on the uh, on another review on the the Triumph Bonneville T100. Um, first first out in um, 1959, I believe. The name comes from the Bonneville Salt Flats. A little bit of history there for you. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, 900 cc high torque engine. This is new for 2021. It's had, uh, I think, believe us, 10 brake horsepower up from the last model. So this one's giving you 65 brake horsepower at 7,400 RPM. I believe it's giving you 80 newton meters of torque at, I believe, 3,750 RPM. So yeah, um, quite looking forward to this. Nice, nice change anyway. I'm not sure about these mirrors though. <laughs> well, but it all adds to the uh, the iconic look of the uh, the Bonneville. Sounds lovely, actually. It's got the uh, the brushed stainless um, two into two exhausts, which uh, yeah, the engine is a single overhead cam, eight valve, um, parallel twin with the, the 270 degree crank, which sounds absolutely lovely. Clutch is ever so light as well on the old hand. I think it's got the um, what they call the Triumph clutch assist, and you could literally pull that in with one finger. It's absolutely lovely that on the, on the hand, effortless, very comfortable. First impressions, very comfortable. Good visibility through the mirrors. No vibrations there, but we're, we're like I say, we're not we're not really winding it on at the moment. But first impressions, okay so far. Like I say, very comfortable, very easy to ride. Very very easy to ride so far. I believe it's 228 kilograms, and you can't feel any of that weight at this low down speed. And when I've just uh, manoeuvred out the showroom there, so not too bad. It is actually quite a heavy bike, 228 ki uh, kilograms. But yeah, anyway, I believe this has had one or two changes. Well, quite a few changes actually from the previous model. Um, it's got the single disc, the 310 millimeter single disc with the twin pop Brembos on the front. We'll test them out in a minute, see what they're like. Uh, it is only a single disc on the front and uh, a 255 I believe single disc on the rear with uh, the twin pot nis nissing on the rear I believe the front uh, disc is a floating uh, floating disc so a lot so we'll, we'll have a walk around to the bike in a bit and, and have a look I love the, uh, the nice uh, analog uh, dash there as well branded by the Bonneville brand there as well it's got two ro uh, rider modes road and rain which is um, I believe adjusted through this button here Nice and simple uh, button cluster there, nothing too, uh, nothing too much to worry about there. Hazard lights, start, stop, information button there, indicators. Admittedly, they're not self-cancelling indicators. Oh, she got some torque. The sky looks a bit grey today, so hopefully we're not. The heavens aren't going to open up. Uh, I don't really want to be getting wet today. If we can help it, it's not fairly warm though. Fairly warm. Yeah, she does sound nice. She sounds very, very nice. This has got the 41 millimeter ca uh, cartridge, cartridge type forks on this as well, and um, the uh, the dual mono shock on the rear, which is adjustable for your preload, non-adjustable on the front, I believe. Oh, it's going straight across the roundabout. <laughs> but yeah, my first impressions. Very, very nice. Very, very comfortable on the old jacksy, which is what you want and um, foot pegs are in a lovely position uh, it's kind of one of those bikes I think that you could uh, you could uh, you know just jump on and ride which is what I've done today but yeah thanks to Triumph today for the loan of the bike in order for me to bring you this review it's much appreciated much appreciated uh, very very nice I love all this all the oh, is that brush brush stainless there is it with the chrome uh, dials on there as well. Attention to detail on the headstock. With the old Triumph, Triumph branding. Very nice. Lots of chrome on this one. And I believe this colour is the, the Carnival Red. Um, Two-tone with the Fusion White. And I also believe, actually, uh, that the, 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 um, the line dividing the two colours, the silver stripe here, is hand-painted. It's hand-painted on the tank. Very nice, and you've got the, 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 the old uh, traditional knee pads here on the side. 
Now, so this is the T100, so it's the baby brother of the T120, the 1200 model, which I'd like to hopefully get out and uh, manage to ride at some point. Uh, very impressed so far. It's a little bit vibey, tiny bit of vibes through the uh, the old uh, bars there, but nothing uh, nothing too major to worry about. Overall, a very nice ride and experience. A lot of mud in the road here, actually. Go a little bit easy. Don't want to be coming a crop on the nice new shiny Triumph. <laughs> very nice. A little bit windy today, so uh, I hope you can hear me okay through the, through the mic and the helmet. Yeah, lots of mud on the road. Yeah, I believe this one is uh, the 32 spoked front and rear wheels. The front wheel being 18, 18 inches and the rear being 17 inches. I think, I'm not sure if they're alloy, I don't think they are. I think they're stainless or uh, steel chromed. Very nice. Handles very nice, very flickable. You have to watch that old speed as well. This bike also comes as a learner A2 option, which can be um, arranged through the dealer to bring it down to the appropriate horsepower for the A2 license, which is very handy. And then you can then have it removed by Triumph again when you've uh, when you've part, you know, when you're uh, ready for the A uh, for the full license. So there'd be no need, no need to change the bike, which is a very good option. It comes um, also, I believe, with, uh, I've got 117, the figure 117 in my head, rider accessories and things. It comes with things like, uh, you know, optional extras from um, Official Triumph. It comes with, well, you can have heated grips, you can have uh, luggage, um, I believe cruise control as well as an option. Yeah, that's the luxury of uh, you know the Triumph, the brands. You know you can uh, kind of customise the machine how you like, just tailor it for your needs. Really, a little bit chilly now. The old temperature seems to have dropped slightly. Yeah, very comfortable, very comfortable. I believe that'd be quite comfortable for the pillion passenger on the on the rear. I believe that's a 700, I think a 790 millimetre seat height. 790 millimeter C height, and like I say, the pegs are in a lovely position. You know, your feet aren't uh, up behind your ears. <laughs> Probably quite low down, so you wouldn't be able to lean this over too far without maybe bottom uh, hitting, knocking the pegs. But hey, this is, uh, you know, not what you really would want to be doing on a T100 Bonneville. Very nice so far. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. We'll pull over in a little bit, so stay tuned and we'll. Uh, I'll give you a walk around the bike and run through some more specs. I say it does come in three colour options. I believe uh, you've obviously got the the, the, the jet black, um, which starts at I believe uh, nine thousand one hundred pounds, um, and you've then got a choice between this one, which is the carnival red, um, the two tone, and there is another colour as well, the blue. I'll I'll. I'll uh, I've run through the colours when we pull over, but I believe they were next to £350 for the two-tone. I quite like this colour, actually. I think the blue would be nice as well, the two-tone blue, with the fusion, yeah, the fusion white. Very, very, very easy on the clutch there. It's an overall pleasurable bike to ride, very pleasurable, um, to be honest, very pleasurable. We'll try the brakes in a minute, there's nothing behind me, so we ain't got to worry there. We'll just get around this corner, and first of all, we'll try the front brake. Make it straighten up a little bit. Uh, not too bad. Hello, sir. Not too bad at all. We'll try the rear. The rear's very good, actually. Very good. So you've got this twin pot Nissan on the rear, and a, a, a twin pot Brembo on the front. Slow down a tad. Uh, I've got to done with a little bit of sunshine today, but never mind. Hopefully that'll break through, through the cloud. Very nice, very impressed. Like I say, I'll, uh, if you stay tuned, I'll pull over shortly and uh, I'll give you a walk around of the bike. Run through a few more of the specs. Well, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Anyway, uh, like, hopefully there's a lot more reviews coming to the channel, wherever possible. Um, 
Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to pull in here. Ooh. Yeah, bikes are okay. <laughs> pull in here not to cause any bother with anyone, hopefully. Out of the way. Oh, what's it like on this gravel here? Turn that indicator off. Oh, just pulling over here under this tree. Hopefully there's no lightning. <laughs> Side stand, not too bad. Neutral was nice and easy, so we'll uh, turn the bike off. We'll just show you this. Uh, Sounds very nice that, very nice. I don't know if you can hear that through the old uh, camera mic, but it sounds very, very nice that. And I love these these brushed uh, stainless exhausts. You can actually uh, order some aftermarket uh, arrow exhausts for this for this bike as well, which uh, they're in in all, in uh, black, I believe. Very nice. Sounds lovely that. Well, let's turn her off and I'll get the other camera and then we can uh, give you a walk around to the bike. So, okay, yeah, there you have it. The uh, liquid cooled eight valve single overhead cam with a 270 degree crank an angle parallel twin. And I like what I like is you've got all these exposed cylinder head bolts as well and um, the uh, HT caps, the plug caps there as well. Very nice. Giving you that will give you 65 brake horsepower at 7,000 4,000 RPM. I think I've already covered this. Um, an 80 newton meters of torque at 3,750 RPM. So it's got a brush stainless steel two into one. I've just spoke about these. I love these actually. And I think the cat is tucked in underneath there somewhere. Yeah. Actually, it's probably enclosed in this. Uh, I think it's a twin skinned stainless exhaust there it's got a wet multi-plate uh, torque assist clutch and that'll explain why they're so light uh, on the clutch there it's a five speed gearbox with a, a chain drive as well very nice very nice plenty of nooks and crannies there though to give it to clean with the old traditional spokes yeah 32 spoke on the on, uh, on the front and rear 18 inch front wheel and 17 inch rear wheel very nice. I believe the, the, the front headlights, let's turn the lights on actually. Turn the bike on there. I don't think the front light is, is um, um, LED, I believe it's, it looks like a halogen bulb in there to me. At the top there for your main light. But I believe the rear lights put the hazards on. I believe the rear light is uh, LED this one and actually I quite like that horseshoe effect there it's quite nice that very nice looks nice from the rear as well it's very nice looks lovely from the rear <laughs> right then so um, yeah I've already looked at the speedo turn them hazard lights off um, twin uh, dial analog speedo and taco with the lcd multi-function displays so it looks like you've got your obviously your speedo there um your trip counter there your mileage um mileage there till you need fuel and your fuel level there your road you've got road and rain here but i love the i love the brand in here with the bonneville on the dash very nice very nice indeed lovely paint scheme there as well I believe this line is actually brushed in. You can see actually the, the brush strokes in that there. Very nice. Yeah, and this one is the oh, this one is the the Carnival Red f uh, with the Fusion White, and uh, they also do the uh, what is it called, Lucerine Lucerine Blue and Fusion White. I may have said that wrong, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you could see yourself on one of the one of these or whatever, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I, I personally quite like it. It's very, uh, you know, it comes with the iconic traditional Bonneville looks, um, with the you know with all the latest sort of technology. Really, you've got ABS traction control. Um, you know, nice nice brakes there, Brembo brakes. Yeah, it's very nice. 
I love that. I, I, love, I love those pea shooter style exhausts on there as well. Here's your uh, rear shocks, adjustable for your preload down here. It's also got uh, underneath the seat here. I mean, we can have a look. We'll take the seat off and see. Turn the dash off. I believe. I'll try and get it off. Of <laughs> There you go, that's the seat off there, and I believe under here you've got a little USB plug. There you go, nice little USB socket there to charge your, your phone or whatever. Very nice. There's no room under there for your sandwiches though, unfortunately. That's the seat back on, <coughs> not too bad. Right, let's ride some more, I think. Well, right, okay, let's get the gloves on and uh, fire her back up. Ride some more. Sounds gorgeous. Right, here we go. I'm gonna break too hard on this uh, on this gravel. Try and get through the lights. No bother. Yeah, so I believe uh, like I said, there's changes for the 2020 model. 10 brake horsepower up from the last year's model and uh, Brembo brakes which is always a bonus so the front brake is okay the rear brake is good it's got a, a wheelbase of 1400 I think it's 1450 the wheelbase the contact patch with a 25.5 degree rake Very addictive this, very addictive. Not so I have to be very careful because uh, it's very, it is very hard to pick holes in any of these new bikes now, especially the Triumphs. And uh, I have got, I uh, just sold a bike as well, so I have to be a little bit careful that uh, I don't get carried away. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> but there you go. But this is definitely one of those bikes that you can sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the ride uh, and you could even like I say to improve it even more get yourself some heated grips and cruise control it's very comfortable you could ride this all day the tank is 14 I think it's 14 and a half litre fuel tank tank with a claimed fuel um, MPG of about 69.9 I think something like that which is very good very good very light on that clutch as well very light it's very kind of relaxed riding position as well it's like a sit up and beg kind of riding position um, yeah so it's a pleasure to ride it's a, that's all I can say really very light very light well I say light it's not it's actually 220 28 kilograms which is uh, relatively heavy but like I say you don't feel any of that that is the wet weight as well, so we'll 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 uh, <laughs> we'll let you off. <laughs> Hello, sir. Another fellow biker enjoying uh, the dry weather. It's got five speed to this, and uh, like I say, I haven't really, it hasn't really bothered me too much. Um, you know, wanting another gear. I'm quite happy just plodding along, really. The revs are fairly low. I mean, what we're doing, we're doing 50 mile an hour, and the revs are sort of just under two, just over 2,000 RPM, two and a half thousand RPM. So, just felt a few spots of rain on my visor then. And we don't really want that, do we? <laughs> Today, I don't want to be cutting it short. But yeah, anyway, like I said, if you are new to the channel, uh, you're, you're just passing through, you know, consider subscribing. There's plenty more bike content coming, plenty more reviews. You know, let me know, let me know what you'd like, like to see me take out and test ride. You know, anything different maybe, or maybe the bigger brother of this, or we'll see, we'll see. I do like the attention to detail with Triumph though, and uh, the, you know, the finish, the fit and the finish is always very good. You know, you look at the dials here and all the, all the 
you know you've got a little triumph badge there it's just little things like that really that you know you look at and you think yeah do you know what you can't really grumble for nine thousand one hundred pounds for the you know for the you know starting from nine thousand one hundred it's a lot of bike isn't it you know, you get yourself a 900 cc machine very comfortable very more than capable and um, what i like as well also is uh you know you have got that option for the a2 learner restrict you know restriction you know on a 900 cc machine you know which is fairly surprising really fairly surprising got some twisty little roads here now so it's quite nice to see how she performs I say the brakes are okay, forks are good, suspension's nice, no grumbles at all whatsoever. No grumbles. Like I say, I'm not too sure about the mirrors, I like the bar end mirrors, will be my only negative at the moment. But you know, you're keeping in, in uh, keep, you're keeping it, keeping it with the iconic Bonneville looks, you know, with the mirrors, and that's the whole idea. It's the whole idea, you know. But you have got the latest uh, sort of technology you know the brakes and you know, there's no expense fared there very nice very nice indeed what we will do in a bit is we will uh, go to the filling station and stick some free fuel in see what that's like sometimes um, they can be a bit of a pain Yeah, she's very nice through town at uh, low speeds, no issues, no, not snatchy at all on the throttle. Very nice. No noticeable weight there either. What we'll do, we'll uh, dip in and get some fuel and see how she's, uh, what she'd like to fuel up. Before the heavens open up. <laughs> it looks like it's going to rain. Very nice, T120 there by the look of it with uh, all the luggage, all the panniers, this goes to show you can have all these uh, additional accessories to suit you, I think that's a T120 anyway, the bigger brother of this one, alright let's get some fuel, see what she's like to fuel up, there we go, indicator off, I say she is a pleasure to ride this this one. There we go. Oh neutral. Lovely, lovely to get neutral there. Side stand, yep. Yeah. We've already been through all this, haven't we? Turn the bike off. Turn the bike off. And uh right, okay. Oh, it's threaded. It's like a threaded cap. You see the thread on there. Not a problem. All right, jump off the bike. And uh, stick some fuel in. There we go. Yeah, we don't want to get fuel on that lovely shiny tank, do we? Thread the cap back on. Oh, it's got like little ratchets there, so you know you're all the way. And then... Oh, you can actually leave it unlocked. Should you want to. I think we'll lock it. There you go. Yeah, so you can actually leave it unlocked. And just threaded. Okay, that's it. That's the bike fueled up, no dramas there whatsoever. Alright, here we go. I think it takes a while, uh, from what I gather, that, uh, for the fuel gauge to, to jump back up all the way. Side stand up. And away we go. 
Yep, no bothers there with the refuel, no bothers at all. Nice and easy lock, so you can keep that fuel tank, uh, uh, fuel cap unlocked if you wanted to, or you can lock it. It's on a thread, so yeah, no worries there. But yeah, very impressed. Uh, the button cluster is very minimalistic, but you know what more do you want really on a on a machine like this of this uh, status? One of those bikes that you look at and you think, you know, you can see if you look at the original, well, like I say, 1959, I believe, was the first Bonneville. If you had them side by side, you know, you'd look and you think, yeah, cool. There's not a lot in it. <laughs> You know, apart from when you see the uh, the Brembo um, logo stamping branding on the calipers or caliper on the front, and this and this on the rear, very nice. But yeah, let me know if you're enjoying the content of the channel or what else you'd like to see. Feel free, comment, hit the like button. That'd be much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell for all the uh, keep you updated of all the latest uploads as and when they're uploaded. That way you won't miss any. It does sound gorgeous. Some lovely properties around here. Quite fortunate to live around this area. Or well, not too far anyway from this area. It does actually look like the heavens are going to open up in a minute so Hopefully not, because I have no wet riding gear on at all. <laughs> very nice roads these, very nice. So yeah, like I say, it's, it is 10 brake horsepower up from the previous model, but unfortunately I never rode the previous model, so I can't sort of say it's uh, well, I can't know. Obviously, I'm not going to be uh, noticing any difference in the other model. Um, hello, sir. Oh, not a head nod, but a leg out there. Very nice. A committed uh, motorcycle friend. Nodder. Or leg waver. Leg dangler, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Come on, sir. Yeah, I just relied on the old torque of the Triumph to get me past on the cheeky overtake manoeuvre. Right, so I hope you can hear me okay. It's very windy. The wind's kind of blowing me about a little bit, but that is the thing, there's nowhere. Uh, obviously, it's not a um, fared bike, so if you get a bit, of, a fair bit of wind blast, I believe you could probably get a screen as well on the uh, accessories, from the accessories. Um, which would completely eliminate that issue, hopefully. Yeah, she's got some go. Brakes are good. Plenty of feel in the in the uh, in the brakes there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me today on this uh, review, and uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and uh, then that way, hopefully, I'll see you on the next video. So, uh, yeah, take care. See you soon. See ya.